Hi, everyone. My name is Steve Lawson. My name is Anya Fofana. And welcome to our live sessions for ISMRM uh, scanning session. So today we'll be highlighting the latest software release with SignaWorks Air IQ Edition while we scan on the Signa Premier, highlighting musculoskeletal and orthopedic imaging with OrthoWorks. Before we get started into the um, scanning, just wanted to highlight some of the, the features that we have in SignaWorks Air IQ Edition. So this particular software release has quite a bit of new features packed into it. So we've extended the capabilities of adding hypersense to 3D gradient echo imaging, which is really helpful whenever you're doing, um, um, you know, merge imaging, gradient echo, Mensa, those type of applications will really uh, benefit from having hypersense on those to be able to reduce scan time and improve spatial resolutions. We've also have uh, artificial intelligence on our system. Um, we've expanded automatic slice prescription using AirX. And that's a really nice feature to be able to um, automatically save um, or automatically set up your scans for you and just really improve overall workflow. It will also help when you have patients come in for repeated scans, um, maybe if they're, they're looking at a specific area in their knee, you would be able to um, get images that look just like previous scans without having to manually set all of those up. You also have the ability to image cortical bone. Um, this is a really nice feature to give you images that appear um, like CT or X-ray type image, images directly on your MR scanner. So this is a nice uh, thing to be able to um, not have to schedule the patient maybe for another procedure and can do all be done inside of MR. And um, also a lot of other things too, uh, outside of orthopedic imaging. Uh, but once again, the software is really um, fantastic. It's got a lot of great features in it, and uh, we're really excited to share that with you today. When we talk about AIRX, um, you know, AIRX, as I mentioned, uh, does an automatic slice prescription. It uses uh, deep learning and artificial intelligence, which is entirely different than automatic slice prescriptions in the past because uh, we've trained a model to identify um, structures and to be able to graphically prescribe. And we've done that across a wide variety of uh, age populations to be able to accurately do this. Um, and when you think about the scan time or, or the, the setup time, you can save a significant amount of, um, of setup time by a factor of five, and then we can reduce the number of mouse clicks by a factor of four. So um, once again, just a, a really great uh, tool to be able to streamline your productivity and enhance your workflow. In regards to um, Osteo, which is our um, application to be able to see cortical bone, um, this uses a zero TE acquisition um, and structures that have a really short T2, you're able to, to, to see these in MR, which we haven't been able to do in the past. And it's really um, nice that you can have the soft tissue um, MRI examination um, perfectly synchronized with this um, um, scan. As you look through the images, everything will be co-registered and um, really giving you a lot of detailed information about what you, what you might be seeing on tissues and structures that you previously might not have been able to see before because uh, we never really could image cortical bone in such a way like this before. Uh, one of the strongest uh, features of the software, maybe you've heard that we have this um, new artificial intelligence and deep learning running directly on the scanner using Air Recon DL. So Air Recon DL um, will allow you to reduce the noise or eliminate the noise in MR imaging. And by doing so, you're going to be able to take advantage of protocol parameters to reduce scan times and not be so concerned about um, a lot of the noise being so obvious in the images. It also removes ringing artifacts, and um, it does so by doing a different type of um, reconstruction pipeline to improve the image quality this way. So um, the users have full control over the level of um, Air Recon DL that they would select. Um, you'll see in when we're scanning that you can use a high, medium, or low setting based on your preference um, and based on, you know, the amount of noise that maybe is in the image, you can um, select this um, directly from the um, scan protocol. 
The great thing about this is with Air Recon DL, um, it's across the entire portfolio. Last year, we had launched it on our 3T products. Um, this year, we have it on our 1.5T products, and we've even brought it to the install base. So customers who have um, a, an older 1.5T or 3T system can upgrade to get Air Recon DL um, without having to purchase a new particular piece of equipment, um, we have the software available for all of the systems in the installed base this way. Here's a great example of how you could use Air Recon DL for imaging for speed. So each of these scans are um, around a minute or so a piece. So this gives you a lot of, um, uh, a lot of time to be able to, to um, image this particular patient and not have to worry about seeing noise. We're keeping the resolution very high and still taking advantage of this to be able to get a very short acquisition duration. When you think about how you can use these things together, you know, if you have osteo on your system today, um, you know, we realize that that could be an add-on sequence that you would likely need to to run in addition to your routine imaging, but that's okay if you have something as valuable as Air Recon DL to allow you to get a very short scan time for your routine anatomical images and soft tissue images, but then follow it up with a very um, high resolution 3D volume of osteo, and you can get um, that scan in typically around um, three minutes or so. The coil that we'll be using today is also part of the air family. Uh, we have um, these very lightweight, very flexible um, multi-purpose coils. So these come in two different sizes. We have a, a medium coil that's a 20 channel coil. And then we also have a um, large coil as well that is a 21 channel. And you can use these across um, you know, various different types of anatomies for musculoskeletal imaging, wrist, elbow, knee, shoulder, they work really fantastic for that. And you'll see an example of that during the scan session today. So without any further ado, maybe we just jump right into it and we can um, show you guys some, some things about uh, this software release. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put those into the Teams chat and we will try to address those. All right, thank you. Okay, so here is the name already in the protocol. We have the protocol selected, then we can just go ahead and start the exam. Just accept that we are scanning in the first level, and then we run a normal 3 plan localizer on the right knee. So we will show um, again like deep learning, mm -hmm. how it is implemented in that software release. Uh, we have deep learning um, on multiple ways. And the first deep learning we are going to talk about is Rx for the knee. Mm -hmm. So um, Rx, uh, most of the people may be already aware of that we do have that in brain. But now we have also um, that available for the knee. Also here, only a three plane localizer is required. And once the scan is done, we let Rx prescribe the knees, and we will show you in a second um, how this how it is to set up. 
again, here in the coronal plan, you will see on the details page the anatomical reference, and there are options to pick like the routine knee, the ACL, the PCL, the meniscus, and the patella. And we've picked the, um, the routine knee and the coronal plane. And you can see here, even though the knee is really like a little bit tilted, mm -hmm. and we use a uh, flexible coil, the MP coil. Yep. So no matter which coil you're using, RX does the great job in understanding where the knee is. Yep. So we prescribe that, we let it run. Uh, the second uh, plane is already like automatically prescribed. So with using RX, you have way less mouse clicks than yep. we are used to. That is a, a great tool too. And uh, um, the second thing where we have deep learning involved is Everything the app. Yes. And maybe you wonder already, like, how we have these fast scan times. And we do have that because we are using Eric with the app. Yeah, with this um, technology, you can typically get a knee exam without sacrificing your traditional spatial resolutions in around five minutes or so, um, which is uh, extremely fast. And then also using um, AirX to be able to graphically prescribe. We've done some um, tests a couple of um, a couple of months ago where we looked at that. And these, the number of clicks to prescribe a knee exam is really only about 11 or so mouse clicks to do an entire um, setup of the, of the knee exam. And um, here uh, you can see um, that we have all the scan times around a minute for all of them. They all have like three millimeter slice thicknesses Decent implant resolution 0.4 by 0.6, uh, and the scan time is always around one minute because you see Eric on DL in the details page here is selected, and we've set it again to high. Maybe again to uh, reemphasize what Eric on DL is. So Eric on DL is uh, a trained model who understands which part in the case space is really noise and which part is signal, and we want to get rid of the noise. So we remove already all the noise out of the case space, and that is why we are able to scan so fast. Um, so usually the, when you use every and you want to scan fast, you can accelerate high or just use um, only one average, and you still have good image quality. Usually when you always do one um, average and you accelerate decent, then you would have to have longer scan times to have that signal. And averaged out, but with every twenty L, since the noise is removed, yep. we're ready to go. Yeah, and having you know, we're using the air multi-purpose coil too. So this coil is a very high density channel count um, coil. So that gives you um, great signal as well. And having the coil wrapped really close to the anatomy allows you to to take advantage of that that design um, to be able to improve the signal to noise next to the tissue that you're imaging. So here, maybe just um, to to show the the um, slice prescription done on the a ACL. Mm -hmm. So also here, you don't have to think about how your ACL is going through that right knee. The system does that for you. Yeah. So if you open up the um, axial viewport there, so you can see the tilt and angulation that it used to find the ACL. Um, looks very accurate to me. Uh, look at the images later on and see that. One thing I'd like to note too, you know, we talked about the scan times being very short. Um, if you'll notice, like if you open up, you know, series five, that's the axials, um, you know, the uh, AirX knee is, um, you know, automatically prescribing the slices for us. But look at the coverage. If you go through the, the sagittal images there, you can see the coverage that you get. You're above the patella, which is, um, you know, required to, to do that, but it also goes down below the head of the fibula. So the number of slices is still, it's 32 slices, but we're, we're only getting that, and you know, it's only 58 seconds. So it's a ton of slices for um, a really great scan time. Yeah, you can really like, when we use Eric and DL to be fast, you can really consider that you can have scan times around one minute. Mm -hmm. And depending on if you need four series or five, then your routine knee protocol would mm -hmm. only take five minutes, right? Okay, um, we also want to show you the other extreme of using Eric on the L. So here we have an example where we will do a um, PD scan mm -hmm. and you want to be really high resolution. So here you see 
we do have a voxel size of 0.2 by 0.2. And we still run only one average because again, we will use every condial to make um, nice images. Yeah. You can use uh, uh, less no page wrap there too. I think we can even reduce oh, yeah, that just a little true. bit more. Right? So maybe down to 1.5 would be plenty. So you'll save a bit of time there with that. Okay. And then the last sequence we are going to run is um, our new osteo sequence, mm -hmm. which is a zero to Eve. So it's based on um, the silent scan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will use that here to just acquire a, a 3D volume through the mm -hmm. entire brain. And since it's done with zero TE, we have like tissue contrast also from the bone. Yeah. And uh, we will look at the images later on. Yeah, um, for these, you know, this is a um, zero TE acquisition. You know, usually in um, regular MR scans, gradient echo, fast spin echo, spin echo imaging, you're changing parameters like TR and TE and flip angle to um, adjust tissue contrast that you might want. Um, but this is an entirely different pulse sequence. This is a um, radial 3D acquisition. So, and we don't um, have parameters like T because the T is actually going to be zero. zero. So um, that will give us um, information of cortical bones. You're able to see that really well, which has a really rapid T2 decay. Um, and we do have some other parameters that you could change, maybe based on the you know anatomy that you're scanning. You know, we're doing a one millimeter um, slice thickness on this. You'll notice it's a one by one uh, resolution here. Um, you could scan this slightly higher resolution if you want. Um, we could try that, possibly maybe change the frequency encoding there from 180 to maybe like um, 200. And that might give us a 0.9. So then you could change, you know, some other parameters if you if you wanted to. The only thing is, is that would reduce the coverage. So then if you did less coverage, you might need to increase the number of locations. But typically, um, whenever we do these, we see them, the scan times really are pretty good, around three minutes or so for that. But it just depends on what you wanted to do. We could change the locations, I think, maybe down to 140 or something. Yeah, because we cover, this is the setup in central planes, and we don't need so much. So maybe I just cover that three minutes and 28 seconds. Yeah, it's a good scan time. So, but if you think about this now, you're getting like all of your routine scanning in five minutes and adding an osteo acquisition on. So, you know, that's still less than 10 minutes and getting more information than what you typically would get. And you didn't sacrifice your spatial resolutions all because of every condial helping you out with that. Maybe look at the, the images. Uh, so here we are going to look at uh, first of the images. So let's launch that in our viewer. So this is the first coronal PD fat set we did, uh, three millimeter slice thickness, and hopefully you can see that guys, 56 seconds, mm -hmm. covered the entire knee. Then maybe we already split the layout and look at the PD images we did at the same scan. So that was the D1 images. Mm -hmm. Done in 48 seconds. It is like when I started as an MRI tech, the time of the localizers, right? And now you're getting a 512 metric size on the T1 scan of that. That's huge. Yeah. And then we did already a PD scan here. And also good to see at the PD fed set here in extra planes. One minute and seven seconds for that. See how that you can see all the details in the cartilage here perfectly. And here, that was the actual plane. Maybe I want to zoom in that a little bit more, really behind the cartilage. 58 seconds for that scan. Nice. 
And maybe on one of those images, we should look at the source image so that we can look at the uh, images without every condition. Sure. Maybe I just pull them over for the um, actual plane. So here, that is exactly the same image, but without every DL. So the noise is still in the image. Yeah. Aside from the noise, uh, you also notice the sharpness in the images too. So looking at the image on the right, you can tell that the um, the edge detail is much improved too. So uh, yeah. in the past, when not you having every DL, you would have to like in order to get rid of the noise, you would have to add images yes. here or you would have to reduce acceleration to get uh, scans quality. similar. And then you would never have 48 seconds. You might have like <laughs> a three minute scan, I would yeah. say. So that's definitely the benefit there. Let's go and look at the ACL we did here. So that is the one where we looked at the ACL. So here's an older knee. And I know he, he knows that there are some issues, so that is the scan for the ACL. And then we did also the really high resolution scan. That was the, done with 0.2 in plan resolution. And I think this one I'm going to use on a big screen that we can really zoom in high to look at the cartilage here. That is the other end of Airy DL, right? So mm -hmm. we showed in the first uh, four scans that we used Airy DL to really be high resolution and to really be uh, to really be fast, mm -hmm. like scan times in one minute. And that is the example on the opposite side of using Airy DL is really being high resolution. Yeah, getting a resolution you really couldn't attain before. Um, you know, this is a three and a half minute acquisition, but without Eric Condiel, you probably would have had to scan this for five or six minutes yeah. to get that quality. And maybe on the um, sound, you guys have heard the the uh, scanner running in the background uh, throughout the this session. And um, one thing you might not hear right now is the scanner that that um, is Works. actually scanning. <laughs> so um, you know, in it, the osteo acquisition um, is a silent scan uh, uh, technology. So we're actually scanning right now. It's around uh, a minute or so into the acquisition, but we we can't hear that running. And the, the reason why again is the zero TE. So the gradients are not on and off the entire time. They stay on and read out. That is why you don't hear the noise mm -hmm. in the background. So, and you have the nice bony structures afterwards and the advantage of not having any noise. So all these features we are, go we are showing today are all part of the uh, latest software. Yeah, so SignalWorks Air IQ Edition um, is a new software that we're, we're showing now. Um, it's got a lot of different features in it. So you have the ability to do you know, hypersense on T1s, you can do hypersense on um, merges. So for customers like Merge or um, Mensa, maybe if you're interested in specifically musculoskeletal imaging, you can apply hypersense to those 3D volumes, mm -hmm. which um, looks really nice. But, you know, the scan times are going to be much shorter because of it being compressed sensing. So um, we also have a lot of other features um, as well, bringing diffusion weighted imaging into uh, with yeah, we do, yeah. so, so it's some really strong features. Uh, we have um, a lot of different um, software packages that um, come into this. So it's a, it's a really nice add on to our mm -hmm. family. So. Awesome. Thirty seconds and then we can see the osteo images here as well. So what we show you today is available in the knee, but when we look at osteo images, you can do that also like in other time uh, parts of the body. So it's like really useful and often used in hip scanning and in shoulder scanning. So it's not restricted only to the knee. Yeah, and you can even um, do some um, 3D printing with these images because they do, you know, they do look like CT images. images. And I do have an example that I printed of a shoulder, 3D printed shoulder, and so it turned out really nice. So great way to, to use that. 
Let's see when they show up here, and then we can load them into our viewports as well. Mm -hmm. Here they are. So I just loaded here into this viewport. And maybe we can look at it. I saw that here is some bony differences here already. Yeah. And we can look also in different planes here because it's a 3D scan. So yeah, the osteo images and the knee. So we have all three planes since it's a 3D volume and you can see the sagittal plane and the coronal plane and the actual plane here. And he is a little bit uh, have an older knee and older yeah. bony structure. So you mm -hmm. can see that already here that there are some some degeneration yeah. there. So I think you can see that well. I can see on the um here, yeah, right? Yeah. So there and also on the, the lateral sides of the knee, you can see some bony changes, changes right? there in his knee. So yeah, that's a great Great thing, but notice how similar these look to like X-ray or um, yeah. CT scans of, of a musculoskeletal yeah. exam. So that's really interesting. Maybe we should look at some examples in other body parts. Yeah, but yeah, that's a good idea. Let's jump over to the AW server and let's show some of that over there. All right, so here's a couple of examples that we have ready to show you. Um, this is um, osteo on a shoulder exam. So we're using the volume illumination feature on the AW server to be able to um, get a really nice rendering on this. So we can see um, the shoulder really well, the scapula. Here's an example in the scapula. Um, so volume illumination kind of gives it a little extra depth. Um, looks more realistic. It's a realistic example of that. Very nice tool that we have available on the AW server is the ability to 3D print, as I mentioned, so you just have this feature to um, do a 3D export, and then you can send this directly out as an STL file for 3D printing. Um, so that's a, that's a really great feature there. And then also wanted to show you an example in another anatomy. This is an example in a hand. Um, you can tell really great signal to noise here, um, great resolution. Here is the rendering of that data set. But uh, yeah, overall, it's really exciting technology. It's uh, uh, a new um, capability in MR. And um, overall, we think the, the results are really great. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed that. So thanks a lot for attending this live session. Um, that's all for this time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.